let's talk about adventure. What okay. does adventure mean to you? How do you how do you come up with these trips, these stories? Do you have an, a list of things you want to do? I, I want to you know these adventures in these foreign countries, or do you just arrive to the country and say what's here? Let's let's make something happen. A little bit of both, um, because I think sometimes you can prepare all you want for a country, but once you get there, after a couple of days, you're already smarter than you were in your office studying through your screen, right? And you're talking to travelers who are leaving the country and have been there for a long time. You're talking to local people and suddenly you have a ton more ideas than you did when, when you first came. And so as a travel writer, often it's a mix that I have some ideas of things I might do, but then when I get there, I often finds out, find out that I had no idea how awesome and interesting and curious this place was. Um, I think adventure is also, there's a quote, somebody said that um, like these days we pay people to take us on adventures that former generations of travelers would pay to avoid, right? <laughs> so you, you, you know, you, you climb cliffs and, and kayak rivers and stuff. So there's actually an adventure travel industry now um, that basically enables you to safely climb that mountain or safely go down that whitewater, which is great. I'm a, I'm a fan of, of the adventure travel industry, but my philosophy is that an adventure is really pushing your comfort zone in any way. Uh, and in a sense, yeah, you could, you could be on that high dollar hike through the Himalayas, but it's just as much of an adventure to take a day off from that hike and go talk to people in a village where you don't really share the language, but you're trying to figure it out and you're sort of reaching out across cultural lines. And so really, I think, I really encourage people to try those subtle adventures, like get on a local bus and travel like Ugandans do for a day. And you'll learn so much more about Ugandan being crammed in a little, the minibus with a bunch of friendly people wondering why an American is is taking the cheapest form of transportation, that yields adventures that are really super memorable. And again, I don't want to knock rappelling off a cliff or, <laughs> you know, whatever adventure travel industry would have you think it is. But really, there, it's just so easy to have adventures where you're really trying something you wouldn't have tried at home and you're learning so much about the place you are. 